Hello, I'm Philippa Price. I'm a subject librarian at Swansea University Libraries, and I'm here today with Professor Michael Draper, who is Director of Swansea Academy of Inclusivity and Learner Success, and also Dean of Regulations and Student Cases. And we're here today to talk a little bit about essay mills and uh, contract cheating. Um, so, Michael, let's let's start off first by explaining exactly what, what is an essay mill, please. Thank you, Philippa, and hello everybody who is listening to this, and well done for listening to this, first of all, I should say that. You're obviously taking your uh, academic integrity career very seriously, which is good to know. An essay mill is very simply a business, and they're in business to make a profit from you. They're not there to support you. They might tell you that they are there to support you, but what they will do as an organisation or as a company in return normally for money that you pay them, they will supply an assignment or essay, uh, which they claim has been written from scratch and will offer a plagiarism free um, detection guarantee uh, as part of that inducement to get you to buy from them. So that even though they tell you you shouldn't do this, they know that you might submit this uh, as your own work for academic credit which, as you will know, is very bad. In fact, it is a breach of the university's academic regulations in relation to uh, assessment. So in short, SA Mills can be an individual, a company, an organization, usually with a web presence or uh, use social media to advertise themselves uh, and get them known to you, which offer uh, to supply you with an essay or an assignment that they have written uh, in return for you paying a sum of money. However, recently, some of these so-called organisations, rather than taking money from you, uh, might in fact take course notes or course materials, which have been produced by your university tutor in return for supplying you with some uh, information or, or an essay. And just to uh, add to the mix on this, those that aren't your materials, they're not your notes you supply, they are the universities. And so if you do supply them, you're in breach of intellectual property in relation to the university, um, as well as any other difficulties you may arise from actually utilising an SA mill service. Thanks, Michael. Um, we often hear about SA mills talked about in relation to, to contract cheating. Um, could you explain a little bit about that for us, please? Yes, thanks, Philippa. It's the, it, it talks about that relationship, the contract of service you enter into with the SA mill. So typically, uh, you might go onto an SA mill website, and what you won't read, of course, is their terms and conditions, because you're not really interested in those, you just want your product. But by agreeing to buy a product from them, you are entering into a contract uh, with them, which, technically speaking, is in fact legally binding. And so when you agree to buy a product from an essay mill, you're entering into a contract of supply. And so this is why we refer to uh, the um, uh, a student going to an essay mill as contract cheating, because there's an agreement between you and the essay mill. That said, contract cheating is uh, far broader. It's wider than that, because you may not go to an essay mill, you may go to a fellow student or perhaps your parent or a friend. And you may come to an agreement that they may supply you with work for your essay. Now, even though they're not a commercial service, the fact that you have an agreement with somebody else that they supply you with work is in fact contract cheating. So you often hear the term contract cheating used with essay mills, but contract cheating as a concept is much broader and will relate to help you get from other third parties whether or not you give them money or indeed notes in return. You may give them appreciation. It's still contract cheating. Thanks, Michael. That's really helpful. Um, you've already mentioned some of the, the problems that can arise in, in getting involved with some of these services, but but it's probably worth stating exactly why, why students should avoid getting involved with essay mills or less formal um, contract cheating. OK, yeah, thanks, Philip. I think we need to talk about regulations, first of all, don't we? So that within the institution, uh, we have academic uh, uh, misconduct regulations and so if you do buy um, work or take work from another a third party you're doing what we call commissioning you're commissioning a service you're commissioning help 
And if you submit work um, as part of an assignment for academic credit or indeed academic progression, which is not your own, having commissioned it from somebody else, then I'm afraid under the regulations, um, if you are found out, then if you go to an academic uh, misconduct board and you are found uh, guilty uh, of that particular uh, offence, then you'll be asked to withdraw from the university. There are no second chances for uh, commissioning, uh, normally speaking. And I, I draw this distinction with plagiarism and other forms of academic misconduct, uh, in which there may be an opportunity to redeem your uh, behaviour uh, by, for example, a resubmission of the piece of work. But where you buy from a, an essay mill, you commission a piece that is considered to be such a serious offence that um, withdrawal is the likely penalty uh, in relation to that. There are other issues that you need to be aware of as well. We are very well aware that some essay mills are very unscrupulous and they will basically subject you to high pressure tactics. If you buy from them, they will not let you go. They will continue to pressure you to buy from them again and again, uh, even though you may not be able to afford it. And also we are aware that uh, some of these organizations will also follow you into employment uh, and threaten to tell your employer what you've done in relation to uh, your work at university, which you've got an award, a degree or a diploma, which you've used to get that job. So if you use an essay mill, the consequences are very serious, both within the institution that we are you know, all part of the community, but also for the future employability prospects you may have as well. Plus, I suspect that you know, students who get involved with this will not have a very good conscience either and will always be plagued by doubt. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for explaining all of that. Is there anything else you'd like to add about essay mills or contract cheating before we finish? Yeah, it's, um, it's a significant issue. And I think what we need to be aware of is that if you do receive an email unsolicited from an essay mill, and we know that students do get these because essay mills use high pressure selling tactics. Don't worry, you've not been singled out. Everybody is getting them. Go and speak to somebody, your academic mentor, fellow put in the library, of course. We have all these wonderful, wonderfully trained staff to help and support you. So if you are approached, please inform somebody within the university and we'll do our best uh, to uh, support you. I think that's very important. And don't give in to pressure from fellow students to say, oh, I've done this and not been caught. Well, we do know that some students are actually employed by essay mills. They infiltrate programs to try and sell their services. And you'll also see maybe on Facebook or some other form of social media, maybe chatting saying, well, I'm finding it really difficult this particular assignment. And all of a sudden what pops up is a message from an essay mill saying, well, I can help with that. And they may try and dress these things up by way of, we're here to help and support you. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Use our services. Please do not listen to these siren voices. They are not there to support you. They're there to make money and exploit you. So be very careful. If you are approached, always report. There's always support for you from the wonderful staff within the institution. Thank you very much, Professor Draper, for that. And just to echo that, yeah, please do um, get some help if you need it. And um, we understand that it there is a lot of pressure. It is easy to feel very stressed and overwhelmed when you've got deadlines coming. But your academic mentors are there to help you. We are here in the library to help you. And our colleagues in the Centre for Academic Success, uh, we're all here to help you succeed. So please come to us and don't be tempted. Um, by what seem like easy solutions, but as, as we've seen, can have some long-term consequences and be really serious. Um, thank you very much for listening today, everybody. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs>